Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya wa mursalin Syedina Muhammadin Wa ala alihi wa sahabihi ajmai amna abad The Honorable Lecture Dr. Andi Kahardin SIPM HM and all my beloved friends First of all, let us pray to the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who until now, we are still giving the blessing of fight and help to complete the sacrament for the phonetic and phonology course. And don't forget to send me our salawat and greetings to the great Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allahumma sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allahumma sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Who has brought us from the world to bread world. So, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ruska Febrante from Class A, majoring in English Education. Uh, Faculty of Tarbiyah and Teacher Training at Islamic University of Aladdin, Makassar. I'm at this PGOS form of completing my assignment in function material about articulation of suppressive mental sound, intonation, and gesture. Okay, what do you think about intonation? I think intonation is the height and low of a Chinese a sentence. sentence that emphasizes certain words in sentence. Intonation in a sentence is very important because it can help to make the function and boundaries of syntactic units. For example, whether a sentence function to ask question, inform, or to expect an emotion, it is widely recognized that English has dialectical and regional difference in intonation. Okay, for example, there are slight differences between English, American, and general English in terms of intonation due to several aspects. Many factors affect intonation, e.g. the speaker, voice level, low or high, speech rate of delivery, fast or slowly, emotion, feeling sad or happy, attitude, positive or negative and gender, male or woman. In comparison to words traits, which is generally focused on where to place the stress properly in English word when speaking. Intonation is more about how speakers should say utterance by listening, failing or remaining their voice but when speaking, the speaker tends to authorize to fall or to remind the what their voice really depends on the meaning, on the meaning or feeling they uh, want to express. How they produce their voice commonly indicates the mood of the speaker, such as anger, surprise, interest, gratitude, burden, uh, disappointment, and etc. Many linguists have analyzed English intonation and factually distinguish at ways for relative. Uh, pitch level, i.e. level 1 is low pitch, level 2 wide, flat pitch, level 3 high pitch, and level 4 extra high pitch. Uh, 3 pitch level, i.e. level 1, 2, and 3 are commonly used in normal speech, which might come to different function, e.g. making statement, addressing question, and etc. On the other hand, uh, the other less level IES to high pitch or level 4 is commonly used for screaming or shooting which might convey other different functions such as expression for the buffer, good happiness, raising anger, and etc. In this section, we focus only on the pitch level in normal speak because this is the most common pattern for in normal social interaction speak. To show how native English speaker use speech, we must record the speaker's speech and use number or intonation control to show intonation pattern. The linguist then establishes intonation pattern for normal speech, i.e. failing 2 plus 3 plus 1, raising 2 plus 3 plus 3, and combining patterns 2 plus 3 plus 2 and plus 1. The overall pattern of intonation can be indicated by a row symbol, i.e. downward row, is used to indicate falling intonation. 
An upward arrow is used to indicate rising intonation, and a rightward arrow is used to indicate flight intonation. Some expressions used to describe intonation pattern are uh, A. Failing intonation pattern level 2 plus 3 plus 1. This intonation pattern starts uh, from flight level 2, then moves to high level 3 by placing the primary stress on a certain word in a sentence and finally falls at uh, the end of the sentence to low level. The first, falling intonation is the most common intonation pattern used by native speaker of English to convey the meaning of statements, comments, information, question, or we have we age question, confirmatory question text as well as examination, explanation. Here are the examples. The first, failing intonation in statement. Okay, the example. Nice to meet you. I'll be back in a minute. She doesn't live here anymore. That wants to change his car. Here is the weather forecast. He's looking out for them. I'm going for a walk in the park. Next, falling intonation in statement. Sorry, failing intonation in comments. The example. Read your name here. Show me what you've written. Leave it on the desk. Take the picture down. Take the picture down. Throw that out. Put your books on the table. Take your hands out of your pocket. Okay, next, falling intonation in uh, way edge question. Falling intonation in w, wh question. Addressing question beginning with question words such as when, what, where, why, which, who, whom, and how. And for example, what country do you come from? Where do you work? Which form, which of them do you prefer? When does the shop open? How many books have you book? How many books have you read? Whom are you looking for? Who is that man? Which card? is yours whose bag is this and next following intonation in question text regarding a tag question we need to know that as from for native english speaker not all of them really function as question some of the tag question are simply used to ask for confirmation or a criminal invitation in such sentence, native English speaker mostly appeal intonation pattern at the end. For example, he thinks he's so clever, does he? Doesn't he? He thinks he's so clever, doesn't he? She's such a nuisance, isn't he? I filed the test because I didn't revise, did I? I doesn't seem to, bo to bother him much, does it? Next, falling intonation in exclamation. The example, how nice of you, that just what I need you, that just what I need. You don't say, what a beautiful voice, that a surprise. Next, raising intonation pattern. 2 plus 3 plus 3. The intonation pattern of this type starts from flat voice level 2 to a high voice level 3 and remains at level 
at the level until the end of the sentence, native English speaker usually use the intonation pattern for yes or no question. They begin with an additional model. AG can, will, must, should, and etc. Or auxiliary verbs. AG do, did, have, has, and etc. Where yes or no answer is required. In ordinary conversation, recent intonation can also serve to turn affirmative sentence into question that indicate doubt or surprise. In addition, question texts that are used to express uncertainty and recur a yes or no answer usually also use a recent intonation pattern. He is an example of using recent intonation in such a sentence. Uh, the first yes or no question. The example. Are you ready to go? Have you finished already? Did you see him? Can you play the guitar? Can you play the guitar? Can you play the guitar? Uh, do you have any story books? Does it come every day? Does it come every day? Next, using intonation in affirmative sentence converted to question. For example, he got the job. Then he will come this afternoon. The president just resigned from his position. Next, raising intonation in the question text or real question. Example, we have met already, haven't we? You like this, don't you? This is a new student. Is it C? The food is nice, isn't it? Next, combining intonation pattern. In addition to the two types of intonation pattern as discussed earlier, native English speakers sometimes use mixed intonation pattern. This pattern can be categorized into two types, namely restful and restful intonation and polarized intonation. Okay, restful. 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. This type of intonation usually start with a flat tone of level 2, then rise to a high level of 3, then drops to another level of flat 2, and finally drops to a low level of 1. Native English speakers tend to use this type of intonation pattern to express choice, list, and unifiness talks and conditional sentence. Okay, the first, combining intonation in choice. For example, are you having tea or coffee? Is James sleeping on Monday or Wednesday? Does she speak Chinese or Japan? Is her name Lee or Lee? Okay, next. Combining intonation in list. In this type, uh, intonation falls on one on the last item to show that the list mentioned its finest. Its finest. For example, we have got the place, we have got apples, pears, bananas, and oranges. We have got apples, pears, bananas, and oranges. The sweater comes in blue, white, pink, and black. He likes football, tennis, basketball, and volleyball. He likes football, tennis, basketball, and volleyball, jean bokebos, a hat and a skirt, jean bokebos, a hat and a skirt. Okay, next, combina combining intonation in unfinished talk. In question conversation, a speaker sometimes address a question which is not able to be fully responded by the speaker's interlocutor. In that situation, where one could and express partial statements, so the restful intonation is used to indicate that he or she has stated to fully expression his or her talks. Consider the following uh, example. 
Do you like my name, Hendrik? Well, well, the leader is nice, but I don't like it. What was the, what was the new like? Hmm, the first was good, but the rest wasn't good. So you both live in Los Angeles? Well, Alex. Well, Alex does, but but I don't. Next, combining intonation in conditional sentence. Condition conditional sentence always consists of two clauses. As a native English speaker, use uh, this kind of sentence. They commonly use rising intonation in the first clause and use falling intonation in the second clause. For example, if he calls, ask him to love a music, unless he insists, unless he insists, I'm not going to go. If you have any problems, just contact us. Okay, next, full rice Indonesian, 2 plus 1 plus 3. Okay, this type of intonation usually takes place in one word in which an utterance is start by using flat pitch too then the pitch level changes in a particular word to low pitch but the pitch level rise to high level 3 and another syllable of the word this intonation fans indicate the speaker is not very sure of an answer an answer given to a question or hesitation but can be used to express polite suggestion or request as well Okay, the first polarized intonation in her station. Okay, the sample. So you'd be willing to confirm that. Okay. Well, I should post so. You didn't see him on Monday. You didn't see him, him on Monday. I don't quite remember. I don't quite remember i don't quite remember okay uh, next for rice intonation in polite and sometimes or dark okay this type of intonation is used when the speaker is not sure what the answer of the question he or she is addressing the example perhaps we could this is the place Perhaps we could visit the place. Should we copy the list? Should we copy the list? Do you think it's loud? Okay, does the use of intonation in sentence does, does not necessarily have to be in accordance with the patterns of intonation as described earlier in this section because intonation is emotional and attitudinal. It is possible that native English speakers use different patterns of intonation from the ones described here in their social life. Depending on the mood and the situation they uh, center at the moment of speaking. For example, different intonation patterns usually change the meaning of the following sentence. James went to Jakarta. 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 Right, next to super segmental sound chunkster. Most of the English learners speech up this speak without paying attention to the articulatory accuracy of the sound, they make shutters improperly. Make vowels and consonant in correct emphasis is the place on certain words. Syllables uh, intonation pattern are used incorrectly. And words in speak are spoken without a clear line between them. Discuss native English speaker to be uh, unable to understand what they are saying. Well, he, uh, well, here I will discuss about the clear boundaries between words in connected speak or what is known as jumpster. In communication with 
the interpreter we need to know where to stop when we say some segment of speech a good way to pronounce the two words differently is to give a short pause that will spread the assignment from the section assignment when we mean to say a part or a division of a word. However, when we mean to say separately, we just need to remove the pause. So the word will sound separate. Now, the transition from one segmental phenomenon to another, the another is called a gesture and is symbolized by a sign. This sign indicates that we should pause before saying the next word. The gesture itself functions so that the interpreter distinguishes between two identical pairs that have different meaning. So the example, did Alex see milk? Did Alex see milk? Did Alex seem ill? Okay, so if we part the jumpster room, we it will cause different perception, even misunderstanding by our our interlocutor. Therefore, we as Indonesian English learners must practice must practice again how to use jumpster properly. Okay, I think that's all I could explain. I apologize if there uh, is a mistake during my video my video. See you later in the next video and bye bye. Thank you and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.